Learning Blender always seemed like an impossible challenge. But what if I told you that in just one month, I went from knowing almost nothing to creating this. And the best part? I didn't follow some huge, overwhelming Blender course. Instead, I learned by doing small, Pokemon-inspired projects, each one teaching me a new Blender skill, step by step. So if you've ever wanted to learn Blender, but felt lost, this video is for you. Because I'll show you how to start learning Blender without getting overwhelmed, how to break big projects into easy bite-sized steps, and how I made my first Blender diorama in just one month. All right, so Blender is huge, like really huge. I've attempted to learn it a couple of times, but this time I am determined to stick with it to the end. And that's the thing, Blender isn't just one skill. It's a massive program that does modeling, texturing, sculpting, animation, simulations, and even video editing. But if you try to learn everything at once, you'll just burn out. So here's a plan. I started off with some basic tutorials to learn the fundamentals, like navigation, modeling, and simple shading. I then decided to tackle a series of small, Pokemon-inspired projects. They were designed to help me practice modeling, shading, compositing, and working independently in Blender. Instead of randomly picking objects, I choose prop that fit well within my final anime style diorama. That way, every project builds towards a bigger goal. So, if you're a beginner like me, stick around. Because by the end of the video, you'll see exactly how to learn Blender by working on fun projects. And who knows, maybe this will inspire your first Blender project too. So let's get started. Of course, as discussed earlier, I started off with a couple of structure tutorials to learn the basics. And instead of something like the donor tutorial, I wanted projects that actually felt relevant to the ones that I wanted to make. I started off with the SWOT tutorial from CG Fast Track. This gave me an overview of the whole workflow and was a great intro. Followed up by the cell shaded mushroom tutorial, where I learned a lot about stylized rendering. Finally, watch the basics of material shading by Brandon 3D to learn more about shaders in detail. Let's get started.
this video helped or inspired you, let me know in the comments and I'd love to hear what you're working on. Hit that like button if you want to see more 3D projects. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next part of my Blender journey. I've got art videos coming up so if that sounds fun, stick around.